may Adonai receive all glory, honor, and praise from his creation. We thank Yahweh for his precious son, Yeshua. We thank Yahweh for his Holy Spirit. Quick dream I had, which kind of shook me when I woke up, very disturbed. All right, this dream was on um, January 28th of this year. In this dream, I heard a voice that said, I am blessed. So in this dream, I walked to where that voice came from, and it was a voice of a male, a young male guy, okay? I walked in what looked like a tiny office, and I seen a young man whose back was facing me, where I was, okay, where I was before going into the office was brightness. And his office was darkened to the point, to the point where when I stepped into his office, um, my eyes could not see his face. My eyes had to adjust to the darkness. Okay? It's like um, during the summertime, if you're outside for a long time and then you finally step indoors, it's dark. Your eyes have to adjust because of the bright, the bright lights. This is how it was in this dream. Where I was was brightness. Okay, then I stepped into his office where he was, which was a bit dark, to the point where when I stepped in and he turned to look at me, I could not see his face. His face was like black because of, because I had to adjust. Okay, so I walked up to him and said, do you know Jesus? The blessed, and then I continue to say, the blessed know Jesus. And I began speaking about the things of God to him and how important it is to give his life to Christ. And he sat and listened for a while. Then he walked away as if he was rejecting the gospel. Okay. So I walked, so I remember walking after him a few times by grabbing his arm slightly and persuading him on the true blessings, on what was true blessings and the path to Jesus saying, you need a new life, change your ways. And again, he stopped to listen. Only for a while, though. Then he rejected again and kept walking away. This very last time, I grabbed him again. And I was ex attempting to explain to him about how much he would be blessed if he had accepted Christ and Receive the gospel and change his life. And I asked him a question. I said, look at your life right now. Do you think it is pleasing to the Lord, your life right now? And when I said that, he became very angry. And he cursed. I don't want to say what he said, but yes, he was angry to the point he lashed away from me and then forcefully walked away and I allowed him to walk away. So while he was walking away, there was a friend of his coming. Okay, so now the entrance where I came from became stairs. So now as he was walking away to exit, he would have to have gone up the stairs to leave, okay, as if we were in a dungeon. 
Okay, so he would have to have go gone up the stairs. But instead of him going up the stairs at that moment, he had a rebellious friend that came down the stairs to him. And when he seen his rebellious friend, he left with his rebellious friend smiling and laughing. And then I woke up. With this dream, I'm still seeking understanding. There's some that I can basically attempt to interpret, but I don't know. It reminded me of the lukewarm church. A lukewarm church says in the book of Revelation, the Lord says, they say that they are rich, but they are blind, miserable, poor. The Lord says he will spit you out of his mouth. This is what the guy was saying when I heard the voice. He's the one who blurted out and said, man, I'm blessed. Then I was curious. I was like, who said that? Because I know the only people that are blessed are those who have received salvation from the Lord, who Christ had changed their lives. And so I went to go see what that voice was, but he wasn't. He didn't want to hear about the gospel. He didn't want to hear about Christ. He was uninterested. But the thing is, he sat down to listen. But that's not what he wanted. It's like the Lord pleads with us, pleads with, uh, pleads with us, but we walk away. In our own sins, looking for worldly things. Then he comes back, he pleads with us. We walk away again. He pleads with us, we walk away again. And the last time we walk away, we become rebellious and angry. And his friend that came downstairs reminded me of the devil. That's who he reminded me. He reminded me of the devil because the exit turned into a ladder well, turned into stairs. And for me to adjust my eyes from going from where I was to where he was was dark. Worldly, darkness. These people hear the gospel, but the gospel isn't appealing to their worldliness, their rebellion, their desires. These, they listen for a while, but deny. They can't take up their cross, no follow. But the Lord is pleading with them. Change your ways and you will have true blessings. Renounce your sins and you will have true blessings. Let go of the sinful things of this world and you will have true blessings. All these things will pass away. I will give you everlasting life. But when I was explaining this to him, because I knew that this guy was blind because he was looking at the worldly things, saying that he was blessed and he was happy at that. He was angry. He welcomed corruption. He was comfortable in all the things of this world. And that's the same for the lukewarm. Y'all take care.